YouTube, this is your girl, the Hair Guru, Carla, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I am doing an update on the severe alopecia sewing. I had a whole lot of questions about how long did hair last, what's the upkeep, can it be shampooed? So, today's video, I'm going to answer some of the questions that y'all have in the comment section. So, y'all stay tuned in and y'all take a look at the video. And I hope this video answers most of the questions that has been asked. So, it's been four months since she had this hair done. So, I'm going over like that's the, the glue strips, the double side tapes. Some of them on the side, well, the two on the side has been pushed back a little from, you know, sweat the hair growing in the back and pulling the hair the front backward so it came up a little bit but not all the way off so one of the tape is still tight holding the whole front together so the hair cannot come off but from sweating and you know the hair growing on the side the size is a little bit up that one tape, the hair came off of that. It's not as forward and tight like when it was just done, but the other tape is holding on to the whole front. It's still on tight. Right there, it came up a little bit too on the sides, but everything is still holding on. The tape is strong. It's just where the skin meets and you sweat. You know, it came up a little bit, but overall, everything is tight. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of relax on the back. The back has new growth. It's grown out. So we wanted it to, you know, I'm going to relax it and I'm going to cut it down so it look fresh all over again like a new hairdo. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm using the straight request sensitive scalp relaxer. I'm going to apply it to the back and then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to take you guys to the shampoo bowl where y'all can see me doing the shampoo. Actually doing the shampoo. Right here I'm doing the shampoo. And I'm using the neutralizing shampoo for the relaxer part. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a moisturizing shampoo for the top of the hair where the, the weave at. After I neutralize the back, then I'm gonna shampoo the front with the moisturizing shampoo. I'm holding the front of the hair down to give it a little bit of support because when the hair gets wet, it's heavy and I don't want the hair pulling on her, on the tapes. So that's why I'm holding it with the shampoo hose giving it some support. So now I'm gonna, well, I'm still shampooing the back with the neutralizing shampoo. Then I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and shampoo the whole head with the moisturizing shampoo. So, y'all just keep watching. I'm also holding the front for support. I don't want the tapes. I don't wanna put weight on the tape and have it loosen up so you got to be careful when you're shampooing it after all it's been in there a whole month so you know it's not as strong as it was when it just got done but it's still hanging in there So now I'm brushing the hair to detangle it and then I'm going to apply a dark brown hair 
color rinse in the back of her hair where it's gray. So I'm going to put a conditioner in the, in the weave, on top of the weave, and I'm putting the dark brown hair color rinse in the back to cover her grays, kind of to match the weave. And I'm going to put her on the dryer for a few minutes. So she already went on the dryer. That was a, you know, sped up the video. So now I just rinse that out. Did her little mild shampoo and conditioner. So now I am combing the hair and I'm gonna mold it and put her on the dryer and after she's dry, then I'll see what damage has been done and what I have to fix. So y'all stay tuned in. She's about to go under the dryer. And then y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do to fix it. That's a um, setting lotion. I'm using the lot of body setting lotion. That's usually give the hair a longer hold with styling. So, you know, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the Nairobi foam in the back. It lays the hair better to me. The foam is gonna blend her hair with the weave better. So that's the Nairobi set lotion foam. I put in the back so then I am gonna put on the paper strips and put her under the dryer So she sat on the dryer for 30 minutes and now, you know, it's still tight. That tape right there is holding on for dear life. Still tight. I guess because there's not a lot of tension right there. But on the two sides, there more tension because there's absolutely no hair right there for support. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a braid right there both sides and I'm gonna use the braid as an anchor to pull that piece back down so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna put one braid right there and use that one braid to pull the hair back down and then I'm gonna use the double side tape to hold the braid down and I'm gonna keep a little bit out so I can also attach some of the hair to the double side tape to give it a flatter look and for more extra support so yeah i'll keep watching So I'm going to go ahead now and use my T-edgers and blend her hair into the weave. Her hair is grew out in the back and after I did the relaxers, it stretched out even more. So I'm blending the back of her hair with the weave and I'm going to leave it longer this time because I had a lot of comments saying I should have left it longer. So I'm leaving it longer this time. So then I'm going to go ahead and line up the back of her hair and then I'm going to move on to curling it. That was a little bit of the high beam black hairspray I just sprayed on the back there 
for the thinning spots she has a little bit of thinning you know around the nape area so that's a high beam black spray well dark brown hair spray to fill in the thinning area oh so now I'm using my one inch black ice flat iron to create this hairstyle I'm gonna do something different this time I'm gonna curl her hair instead of me flat ironing it I'm gonna use my flat irons and you know give her some curls So now I'm curling the side and as y'all can see the little shiny piece is a little bit of the double side tape but I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna cover that with a little bit of the weave and that's gonna use as an extra hole to help hold the hair down and also to help the hair to stay flat. So by the time I'm done with the hairstyle you will not see that piece of tape so that's what I'm gonna use that for it's gonna really help with extra security and also keeping the hair flat
so y'all see how secure the um hair is even though i'm curling and i'm pulling and tugging it's still tight it's not moving so this should last her for another month or more but you know it did good for the first month and now that it got touched up it should be good for another month so like i said y'all can see it's still secure it's tight and it's holding on it's not shifting it's not moving So now I'm finger combing her hair. I'm using my nails to comb her hair. Yes, this is one of the benefits of my claws. I use it for combing the hair and parting the hair. So, you know, my long nails is beneficial. I know y'all been talking about my nails, but it's very beneficial. But anyway, y'all can give me y'all opinion on this hairstyle. I think I love this one better than the first one. But y'all can leave y'all comment about that. I think she likes this hairstyle better too. So this is all the information y'all was asking about the hair maintenance and how it's being, how can I shampoo it if it's gonna hold up and all that. So this video is for that. If there's any other questions that I didn't answer, y'all feel free to leave it in the comment section. If it's about pricing or appointments, y'all can inbox me on Instagram at the Hair Guru Carla. Or Facebook at the Hair Guru Carla, or y'all can leave me an email at the Hair Guru Carla at gmail.com. The Hair Guru Carla gmail.com. Yes. Also, I apologize for not responding to emails and inboxes. I have a whole lot of 
emails and inboxes about you know appointments and pricing and stuff y'all please bear with me and y'all forgive me for not answering asap but i have a whole lot of inquiries so i will get back to y'all as soon as i can also i'm gonna you know let y'all know about the dates of me touring and what city i'll be touring in but if y'all want me to visit y'all city y'all just leave it also in my comment section or my inbox or my email and you know i will let y'all know about the dates and the city so thank y'all for watching my video i hope y'all enjoy my video and i hope it answered a lot of y'all questions and until the next video y'all stay blessed